Hello and welcome to On The Wrist. Today we have the Delma Blue Shark 3 Black Edition. This is a DLC coated dive watch that has a water resistance value of 4,000 meters, or roughly two and a half miles. That is greater than the Rolex Deep Sea. Wow. This is a sharp looking dive watch that focuses on legibility and practicality underwater. So let's go through a quick intro and then get right to it. Before we get into it, I do want to mention that this watch was sent to me to review. I will be sending it back to them after the video is completed, so I won't be keeping it. I also want to mention that I received the watch in its in a non-standard packaging. That just means it didn't come with a regular box, the extra strap, or more importantly, the screwdrivers, special screwdriver heads to use to adjust the bracelet. So I was not able to wear this watch like I normally do. I've had the watch for a few days to handle it, play around with it, but I have not been able to wear it like I normally do. So keep that in mind throughout the video. Technical specs will pull up on the left. This watch is part of a limited edition run of 300 pieces per color combination. The diameter is 47 millimeters, so this really is a large watch. You need that diameter and the thickness of 18 and a half millimeters to accommodate uh, four, that being 4,000 meters under the surface. Naturally, the crystal is a uh, slightly curved sapphire with an reflective coating. The movement is the Salita SW200 with a custom rotor. The water resistance, as I said before, is 4,000 meters or 400 ATM or 1,320 feet. That is kind of crazy. The watch has a DLC coating, which is diamond-like carbon, which is an incredibly hard coating, makes it immensely scratch resistant, and gives it this very distinct look. It comes with an extra strap as well as a helium escape valve. A helium escape valve is a complication used on diving watches specifically for saturation diving. I'm going to put a link in the description below to some excellent videos I saw on saturation diving as well as a link from Bob's watches about helium escape valves. It's a really cool situation, but it's a very niche complication where essentially the watch has an escape valve to allow helium to, le to leave the watch during decompression from being in a high pressure environment with increased levels of helium. But check out the saturation diver videos to better understand. The loom is absolutely insane, as you can see here. Just absolute visibility, so clear. And I love that the bezel is also has that coating so you can basically see all the information on the watch. And note that the loom on the bezel has a nice orange hue to it, while the inside has a sort of a normal kind of bluish green uh, loom coloring. Really awesome to see two separate colors. And the bracelet has a nice slight taper to it, as you can see here. And the clasp comes down to a really thick, solid clasp. There are three micro adjustment points you can see here to help you get a good fit. And the case back, as I said before, is a engraved case back rather than display with some information limited edition blue shark uh, 4000 meters reference number and all that good information inside the class Delma brand with a nice perlage in there so overall some nice nice details on the back of the watch one thing I want to talk about the bracelet though is the links and the bracelet strap have this special I believe this is called a clutch head screwdriver there's clutch head screw which has a unique, almost like almost looks like an hourglass shape. And this is a tool that, I, know I have a lot of tools and I don't have any of these in my toolbox. I couldn't find any at the local hardware store. The packaging for this watch does come with two of those uh, screwdrivers so you can adjust your bracelet and swap out straps. And I really don't like that because it means if you lose the special tools, you have to go back to the manufacturer to get a new one. It seems like a really strange choice. And I'm not sure why they did it, it certainly makes it secure so no one can tamper with it, but I would have rather seen regular screwdriver heads or a more accessible tool like a torque. Let's get a couple shots on the wrist. So here we have it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. So this watch is massive. Like we said, 18 and a half millimeters thick and 47 uh, diameter. But one thing that's nice is it actually has a fairly tight lug to lug because the the, there aren't really end links to this bracelet. It's almost like it's built into the case itself. So the, this bracelet just immediately comes down around your arm to give you actually a fairly comfortable fit for something that is a very, very large watch. The DLC coating feels very interesting. It's 
It feels similar to the way uh, ceramic, ceramic coatings feel. And so it's very nice on the skin, a little slippery. Before we get into the MSRP and closing thoughts, I also I want to note that I've changed the lighting here to better highlight the orange hue that is this watch. The orange around the bezel, as well as on the hands, is much more pronounced here in the more natural lighting, whereas before with my sort of overhead lights, um, you notice a much, much, it looks more yellow, where here the orange color really comes out. Now let's talk MSRP. MSRP is $2,950. Wow, that is a hefty price tag. And while I do think there's a lot of quality in the design, good overall design aesthetic, attention to detail, features, for me, I don't think this watch does it for me for almost $3,000. The fact that it uses a Salita movement for me is kind of a killer at that price point. I would hope it'd be an in-house movement. Also, I find it kind of hard to get over that special tool you need to adjust the bracelet. Not a big fan of that. And for what I look for in divers, this is way out of my price range. I do think there is something here for if someone loves the aesthetic, they're very interested in that 4,000 meters of water resistance owning a real hardcore dive watch with a helium escape valve. I can certainly see the appeal, and I think that the attention to detail is there. But let me know down in the comments below, what do you think? Do you like the aesthetic of this watch? Is the idea of owning something that can go two and a half miles below the ocean interesting to you? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear it. Drop a comment below. But that's all for me today. This has been On The Wrist. Thank you for watching.